Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations. And tonight before I start my new video um, for tonight, I wanted to show you my uh, new um, workspace. And I wanted to show you my new logo. And I wanna say thank you to Designs with Mel. She was the person who designed um, the logo for me and she did um, this sticker that I put on my mat. Um, I'm gonna leave her information on the description box in, in, in case that you wanna see um, some of her work. But I wanna thank again Designs with Mail for providing me with my new logo and the sticker to put on my mat. So tonight, um, I wanted to work, we did a video, um, yesterday where we made our own alcohol ink sprays we did four yesterday on camera um this is two and then this two we did four on camera and we tested it on some um picture paper um show you the one that we use that I used last night was this one Kodak picture paper for inject prints um, I got this on a thrift store for 75 cents so we did some papers with the ink that we created last night um, this is the paper that we did last night and then I show you my collection of a spray ink, uh, which is Glimmer Mist from Tater Angels, and I also have some Dilutions um, ink spray. If you haven't seen the video, I recommend you to go um, and look for that video on my channel. I'm gonna try to leave a link below on the description box. And I wanted to create something with what we made. Um, this is with the Dilution ink and the um, the glitter ones, which is the Glimmer Mist. So we did these two with those. And we did, sorry for the noise, something fell off from where I have all my stuff. Um, and we're gonna use this. But I was thinking to do something with that, or we also tested um, the new ink on my art journal. And I think I'm gonna go this direction tonight. I wanna uh, do something with the art journal. And I got this art journal and it's from the brand Artist Loft. And this art journal is from, it's a sketch. It's a sketchbook. I got it at Michael. Um, the price was $6.99 and I have a coupon for 20% off that I used. And since these pages are a little um, thin, um, I, I went ahead and glued two pages together on each side. I um, glued two pages together so it's thicker now. And since we are on a budget and I want you to create, if you don't have, um, let me get my other art journal. If you don't have an art journal or a sketchbook or something like that, you can always uh, alter a book. This is my um, art journal where I created my some of my pieces. And this is, um, it was a devotional book from when my daughters were younger and they don't longer use it. So every time that I gonna create something, I just read the devotional and then I cover the page. Um, I, I prep my page with white gesso or sometimes I use black gesso and I stick the same thing i glued two pages together this one i ready for um the next art that i want to create but um the book is getting thicker as you can see so it's hard um it's hard to create some things here you, you can see still the white from the um the gesso because it's getting chunkier so this is not a flat surface so um, I'm gonna still use this book, but I wanted to get something that it was, when I open it, you can see this one is flatter. You can 
it's flat. It doesn't matter where you are, it's, it's always flat. So I wanted a flat surface um, journal. So that's what I got this one, but if you don't have a sketchbook or a journal and you're on a budget, just use a book. If the pages are too thin, just stick two or three pages together with regular glue and, and you can create in there. Um, like I showed you on this one, you can see it holds on pretty good. Um, as long as you prep your pages, since this is a bright orange, as long as you prep your pages with um, maybe um, white gesso, black gesso, or maybe just white acrylic paint, you will be good um, to create something on a regular book. So I don't know the direction that I'm, I'm getting right now. I just want to create something with you. So I got an stencil. I got some sticker from um, Dollar Tree that I may use. I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet. Um, I just have them here. And then some of this paper, I, I was thinking to um, use some of my punctures and get some, um, and do something with these ones that we um, made with the other ones. Just because these ones are the same color, so I don't wanna use this one. This ones I wanna use it maybe to create a tag or maybe journaling cards or something. So I'm gonna keep this one for the next video that we're gonna create. And I may use some of this just to create a contract on the pages with you know different colors. So I'm gonna keep this one around and see what we come up with. Um, and also I have some of my ink. I have white, I have black, I don't know yet. What I'm gonna do, I have pink here. And um, I have uh, this little sponge for the white one. So let's see what we come up with. Um, I have some washi tape that I still wanna use, maybe the pink, I don't know yet. I don't know what direction I'm, I'm getting with this yet, but we will create something. We will create something together. I'm just checking here to see some more washi tape right now. But I wanna just make you some pieces of this one. And let's see, I need some um, stamps to create my background, um, some interest on my background. So I wanted to show you today that it doesn't matter if you are on a budget, you can still do art journaling and you don't need a sketchbook, you don't need anything like that. You just need your uh, creativity and whatever you have at home. Sorry for the noise, I'm just trying to see um, what stamps I wanna use. Just gonna get a couple here, maybe one more, I don't know. Let's see, I have that there. And I have my glue gun ready, I have my um, ink. And I also had the regular, the other glue there, just in case. And I think we can start with this. Um, I just wanna create, oh, I wanted to tell you that after I spray the, pa the pages, I use clear gesso to prep my page and to make sure that, um, cause, um, um, to make sure that the eyeshadow, the loose eyeshadow that I used, um, that I, put inside of my um, spray, don't um, come on my hands or move around. So I just prep my page with the clear gesso. I usually do uh, prep the page first and then use the medium that I'm gonna use, uh, maybe um, the ink spray or maybe um, watercolor, whatever you're gonna use for the background. I usually prep my page with white gesso or the clear gesso, if it's white like this, or black gesso or maybe white acrylic. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that I, and this is, I'm using Finaver R Basic Gesso Clear, um, just because it's, it was already spray on. So I just wanted to prep my page for the next medium that I will use. So I would like to start um, maybe with the stencil and my ink. I usually will use different uh, mediums uh, because this is Miss um, Media. 
but I don't want to use anything that I need to wait to get dry, like maybe modeling paste or maybe uh, um, like I can use the gesso to do um, the background with the stencil, but I'm just going to use ink since it's easier that way. I don't know if we're going to be able to see the white on this, but well, we're going to try. Let me get some wipe just in case I don't like it, how it looks. I'll, um, I will clean the white out of my pages since this is no permanent ink. I don't think that is permanent ink. Uh, it's for embossing powder and this is what I use for my embossing powder. I do have, a, you know, the um, heating tool, but I don't want to um, use all that because I just want you to create um, in a budget and you don't have to spend money. Well, you can use a hair blower, but let's go the easy way. So let me see. I want to use, I think I'm going to use this and let's see if we can see the white ink on the pages um, in this paper on top of the um, ink that we used yesterday. If not, we'll go with black. Since I already did some spots with black. Let's see. Mm, you can hardly see it, but I like it. And this is just a regular um, makeup sponge that I got at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to do white and I'm going to do black. And let me see. You see it's not permanent. You can see that move around, but let me just do some. And I would like you to create something with me tonight. Um, like I told you, if you don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't have a, um, a journal, just get an old book and just repurpose that book. And that will be a good, um, our um our journaling uh, our journaling sorry i don't know if you can see um the white um i hope that you can see it <clears throat> but if not we'll take a picture later on and post it but in here on the black you can see a little bit of the white <clears throat> and let me put some here on this corner here And we are just creating the background right now, a little bit more uh, interest on your background. Um, we already had the paint and we're just gonna do this before we um, add the focus, um, the focal point on the page and, and the focal point it may be one of those stickers that we have around the Dollar Tree butterflies. Okay, so let me clean my stencil. Let me get some paper towel here. Let me just clean it here real quick before I use the black. And for the black, I may use um, this, the circle. And I'm just gonna do in some spot. I'm not a lot of places. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get. Let me get a sponge here for my black ink. Just a second. I thought I have it out, but I didn't. So just a second. Let me use this one for my Distress Ink. And let me see where I want some of this black. And I'm just gonna use it in some places. Not the whole page. down here and 
and to balance it i balance this out i will do some here not not a lot just a little bit okay so that's it for the stencil right now let me clean it real quick because this is permanent ink I try to always clean my stencil, but this one I forgot to do this side here, and you see. And this is just modeling paste. I clean it, but stay there for it. Still there. Okay, so I clean my stencil. Let me get it out there. And then I want to stamp. Let me see, I want to use this one. And with this, you are just creating um, interest uh, for your page and, you know, doing your background, adding interest to your background. So it don't look that plain, just, you know, just the medium that you use to paint the background. So let me see, let's go this way. And it doesn't matter if it's upside down or it's right. So let me see, I wanna put some here. Just do some like this way. And let me okay, let me see what else I want to use on my background before I decorate with the rest of the things that I wanna use. Let me put this away. Oh, I wanna use some of these numbers here, um, of this stamp here. And let's see. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do three, four, five. Well, let's do two, two, one, two work here too. So let's do two. One, zero, well, the easier ones. So when you put it like this, it will be two, one, zero. They don't want to stick to my, let me clean it up. Let's do two, I don't know why they want to, they won't stick to my thing. Let me get another one. Let's see on this one. This one don't want to stick that much, but let's see. Two, one, and then the zero. And that's just a random number. <laughs> let's push here. maybe here oops I don't know here what um let me try this way there you go let me clean my stamp. So, okay, we got the numbers in. And let me put my number back here again. I think I need to clean my, st um, my stamps. Some of the ones that I already used. Okay, so 
that I'm done with the stamps, with the stencil. And now, let me see what else we can use. If art journaling is something that interests you, um, I will say that I'm um, maybe self-taught. Um, I, 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 I taught myself how to um, do art journaling. What I did was, um, well, I have an art background, but I never did um, art journaling before. And I learned just watching YouTube videos and learning from the expert. <laughs> so if this is something that interests you, I just recommend you to maybe start watching some um, YouTube videos and learn from the best. Um, I just watch everybody. I, I cannot recommend um, anybody to you, but um, this this lady Maremi's art something art Maremi's art I think it is I love her videos I have learned a lot from her videos um, so maybe you can start watching her um, but I love her videos I um. That's one of the videos that one of the ladies that I started watching her videos and I learned a lot from her. So I'm gonna use this washi tape here. Usually what I do when I use washi tape, I will go over with my clear gesso. Or sometimes even the white gesso, but um since um I don't wanna wait until everything gets dry and all that stuff. Um I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So hopefully it will stay on the page. Let me see. Let me use some of this orange. I apologize for my hands yesterday when I was um, mixing the ink for our sprays. Some of the darker colors got in my hands. Still, you can see some here on this nail. And I tried to get it off, but still have some left. But we're getting messy right now. I, I'm getting ink from this one that we're doing right now. So it doesn't matter. I just want to create something with you tonight. And... Okay, I think that's it for the washi tape. Let me put the washi tape out, away. And then I wanted to, let me get my white acrylic paint just a second. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna use a little bit on my finger. You don't even need a, a brush. Just gonna move it a little bit um this black on the background i'm not gonna use a lot just because i want this to get dry fast but this is the white acrylic that i have oh this is the gesso i'm sorry i got the gesso um that's what i meant the gesso this is the white gesso that i use um is from master stash this is from um uh, hobby lobby this is their brand. And just mute, uh, muting some of this background. Let me clean my hands. And you can use your fingers. Um, you don't need brushes to create art. You don't need a lot of um, materials. Because if you're gonna wait until you have a lot of materials to start doing art, making art, you, you will never start. So just use what you have at home. That's what I've been saying in all my videos. Use, use what you have at home. So let me 
फिर आप पहले रवे हैं so I'm going to black um it's moving around but that's fine this is mindless crafting I heard somebody saying that um some of the video I don't remember her name but I used to watch some craft videos when I started making craft and she always say just do mindless crafting and don't stress about it you made a mistake and you can fix it just enjoy your mistake don't stress about it okay i think i'm done with the white gesso just a little bit it don't i don't want that much i, I still want to see some of the black okay Just want to do a thin layer so I get the right faster. Just cleaning my hands and my mess around. Okay, and then I want to use some of this. May use this one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me check my butterflies. Still don't know which ones I'm gonna use. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go with this paper. Let me cut some hearts here. From different places. This one here. And this one here that has some yellow. Let's see. I took the whole piece out. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm. I was gonna create the heart with the um, white gesso, but I just wanna use this in some places. Mm. Okay, I think. Let's see this one here, okay? So let me just glue them in place. Did I want it like this? And this little this one down. Um, let me see if I want something from here. No, I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use just lighter colors here. And I wanna get a piece. Let me see if I'm gonna use this. So when I use, um, I want to do some quote, quote here. I may add some quotes on top of this. So I want another piece here. Let me get another one from this side. And let me just keep it there. Okay, and then 
Let me see if I want to add something else to the background. I like the white, how it look there. Um, let's see what else we can add. Because I, I want to add something here. Let me see if I add some pink. Let's see. I think I'm gonna go with black. I just don't want to mess it up. So I'm just gonna go with black. I'm gonna go with my intuition. Just that the page felt a little empty some places. And I put some over the heart. Oops. <laughs> Maybe a little bit over this heart here. There you go. Maybe there. Oh my god. Okay, I think it looks better now. Well, for my liking. Just wanted to create a smaller one here. Okay. So what do you think? I like it better with this, adding this there. And okay, so this is what we have so far. And let's see. I may use I like I think I like these ones better. one of the big butterflies on this side let me use a couple of them let's see and this is gonna be your focal point so I think I'm gonna go here with this one. Oh, but wait I want to do something just a sec let me get something here This is eyelash trim. I want to use a little bit here. Let me see before I put my butterfly. Just want a little bit of that showing. I don't know why my hair is so sticky. Glue the butterfly.
just want a little bit showing i don't want a lot and then let's see what may i do i may do some um of these dragonflies on this side one up here and then one maybe down here I think I'm gonna use this one let me see Okay, and then I may do another butterfly on this side. I'm missing something here. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna use yet. Um, maybe I will do the um, quotes here, but I think I wanna add another butterfly here and I may use this yellow one. Maybe go in this direction. Oh my god i guess my hands are so sticky thanks god that this is it's double let me see how it the poor butterfly have an accident <laughs> i can still use it but let me see how it was okay like that no like that let me know let me just stick it there before I do something else to this butterfly. these flowers but I don't think so so let me get here let me see what I want to say here I'm yeah, gonna use the Tim Hall's ideology small talks let me see what I have left here. I don't have much. Um, I like this. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And... Let me use this here. I'm just trying to figure out a place because I was thinking to do some here, some here. But let me just distress the edges here. I always use a little bit of glue the glue going because sometimes these um quotes don't glue that um too well to the page so now the question is do i want this up here i think i'm gonna do it right there I 
And then for this side, um, I may put another one here, but let me see for this side. Um, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And I think I'm gonna use do your best down here. Best. And then for this side, let's see. Always, I like this one. Always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. I like that. So we're gonna use this one. Yeah, this, I'm gonna cut it, but I think for this one, gonna use always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder that's the way that I gonna do this one it's gonna distress the edges to use this I forgot so I will use it next time let's just So always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder on this side and then leave a little sparkle wherever you go and do your best. Okay, so what do you think? Um, I probably will um, do, let me see if I can do a camera before we say goodbye. Uh, let me get my glimmer mist. I'm going to use this one. The, um, this is the color Antique Brown. And I don't want to mess up my new mat. So let me put this here. I'm just gonna do very carefully. I don't want it just the borders. And let me see if I can um, spray this a little bit. I don't want to use too much. And let me close it before I do anything else. Let me see. I just want to try something. Let me just leave it around for a little bit. Just one a little bit. I'm just using the water to help the ink run through the page. I'm 
if you can see it. I'm just moving a little bit down there. Then I have to wait until it get dry, but let me put it in later. And I will do the same thing on the other side, but for the purpose of the video, um, I'm just going to end it here and then I will um, take a picture and let you see the final, um, the final one. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video and that you learned something about art journaling. I just want to try before I go so you can see the final thing. I will um, keep working on this until I'm done, but this is what we got. I hope you like it and that you created something with me and don't be afraid to try new things. If you haven't tried our journaling, I would I hope that with the tip that I gave you today, you can create something and find a new way to um show your creativity. So have a good night everyone. Happy crafting.